Well, after all the excitement of the last race, we've now got a very similar situation this time. We have Falcaro on the front row of the grid, Joey Mawson not as far back as last time, and it looks like we've got some more wet weather coming. Hey everyone, welcome to Season 1, Part 4 of Race to the Top, and we are here in a partly cloudy Milan for the second race of the Formula 3 season. We have Julian Falcaro on second on the grid, with Joey Mawson down in seventh. He was down in ninth in Guildford, so it is a slight improvement for him. Um, there is a bit of rain expected around by sort of lap 13, lap 14, something like that. Whether that's enough to really affect things, I don't know. So I think what we'll do is we'll go with the soft tyres, um, just in case that rain does come down and really starts to hurt us, then at least we can change onto the intermediates and we're not stuck on, on the slower tyre of the mediums. So that's what we're going to do. So we've got our, we've only got two performance increases from the practice. We've got our intermediate tyres, so no one out like it's not going to rain now, is it? And of course we've got the race trip, which will be quite uh, important for us. So as you can see, we're starting on the soft tyres. So the soft tyres, I believe, how long do they last for? They last for a decent amount of time, so we should be able to get a, a fair whack of, of these soft tyres. Because the rain, as you can see, you just see it there. I can't, I can't move my mouse to show you, because obviously then it disappears. But you can see there's a little bit of rain expected just before that lap 16 there. And if that rain persists, then we're going to have to change to the intermediates and maybe even the full wets. But if it's just a tiny amount, we might be able to, to ride it out on the soft. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. And of course, we're going for the full um, fuel load because it's a 63 lap race. It's going to be a long one. Um, and we're going to do the exact same thing. We'll just double check to make sure everyone's the same. Um, Falcaro, yep, he's starting on the softs with full fuel. Perfect. And let's get into the grid. Oh, no, we won't. There you go, I'm getting too far ahead of my... I'm so excited! I want to get going. We want to make sure they start off with the best. Oh, full attack, overtake mode. Let's see how far they can get. So we have Maximilian Gunther on pole position with Julian Falcaro just behind him. These two are going to get to know each other quite well over the last... Uh, they have got to know each other quite well over the last... Uh, a uh, little bit. Uh, then we've got Jan Martinbright in third, followed by Ryan Tveder in fourth. On the third row, third row, we've got Rayl Hyman, who crashed out in Guildford um, with Joel Eriksson for company. And on the fourth row, Joey Mawson, Corin and GP, that's our guy there. He's next to Mikkel Jensen from T-Sport. Um, in the fifth row, Alex Palau and Uko Sasahara. Um, they're rounding out the points positions there. Um, in 11th, we've got Ralph Aaron with Marino Sato next to him. As we drop down, we've got Makino and then Tictum. Um, in the 15th position, we've got Lando Norris for Carlin. Um, I'm surprised he didn't come out um, in qualifying. He's, he set that time on intermediates and they were happy with that. So keep an eye on him to move up the field. Same with Daravala as well. Um, he's in 16th position. In 17th, we've got Pedro Piquet from Van Amersfoort Racing. They are the, they're leading the championship. They're the team that's leading the championship at the moment. Um, they're right at the back of the grid for this race. So this is going to be really interesting to watch them. Alexander Sims in 18th. Uh, 19th, we've got Mick Schumacher for Prima Power Team. Prima are a very good team because if you go right up to the very top, there's his teammate there in first place. So that's keep an eye on Mick Schumacher as well because he'll move up the grid. And uh, rounding out the, the 20 positions is Harrison Newey, again for Van Amersfoort, who are leading the championship. But it doesn't look like he set a time uh, in the uh, qualifying once it dried out. So expect that back half to really fluctuate around. Um, it'll be really imperative that Mawson keeps ahead of this group because they're going to be moving through the pack and he needs to get ahead as fast as he can. So here we go then. We are three lights on. We're about to be lights out here in Milan for the second race of the season. And we are lights out. It was a slow start from Falcaro there, which allowed Gunther to build a huge lead. As Mawson has slipped to eighth, but he's just climbed back to seventh. He's got Jensen for company as they move around on that first corner. And everyone's got away quite cleanly there. Falcaro is building a bit of a lead over Mardenborough. But Mawson is again stuck in that big pack of cars. And it looks like there's a few cars, a couple of teammates there battling away. Uh, Daravala and who's that? Is that Norris right at the back? They're um, battling quite ferociously, their teammates. Um, as we get into the first lap is going to be complete. Falcaro is building a bit of a lead over Mardenborough. And he's actually catching up to Gunther. He's only half a second behind. And we're going to start backing them off already because they are on the soft tyres. We don't want to burn them uh, too much. As Mawson... I'm hoping is he's fighting closely with Jensen there. Oh, is that Jensen? Ericsson. I take that back. It's Ericsson who he's fighting with. But Ericsson's just got that raw pace along that back straight and moves ahead of Mawson. But Mawson keeps seventh spot, which is quite crucial at this time. So we'll start building up a bit of the speed 
Uh, because, let's be honest, we don't want to watch a four-hour race that's uh, watching tiny little blobs moving around the screen. As Falcaro, he's under a bit of pressure from Tavetta, who has moved through the pack. Martinborough slipped behind. I wonder if he ran wide there, um, because he has really dropped. He's fifth. Hyman's moved ahead of him. As Mawson's moved up to sixth, and he's really pushing Martinborough. Martinborough must be struggling a little bit. Keeping an eye on those tyre temperatures for both our drivers. Falcaro's holding on to second position just barely. We'll move up to him. And let's have a bit of a watch to see how he's going. As Gunther has only got a three-tenth of a lead. Three-tenth of a second lead over Falcaro. Um, and then we've got Tevetta right behind him. And we've got Hyman right behind him. There's a bit of a gap to Martinborough. Followed by Ericsson. And then Mawson in seventh place. And Mawson really, really pushing Ericsson there. We may see him make an overtaking maneuver in a bit. As we're just starting to slow things down. We're on lap four. Tevetta, he's really, really pushing Let's keep an eye on how's that rain coming. It is coming in, but it's not going to be very heavy, as you can see. So we'll have to keep an eye on that to decide when when we're going to change to our intermediate tyres, because we want to be the first to do it to really maximise um, our, our lap times. And hopefully we can maybe even do a bit of an undercut over Gunther. Mawson especially, we want him to get as far away from these back lot, like the Schumachers, the Norrises, even the Neweys. So that's going to be uh, something that we're going to have to keep an eye on. But we're starting to slow down now. We're starting to slow down. So what I might do is I might just bump up the speed times four, just so we can uh, get going. Because there's not a lot uh, happening at the moment as the, the cars are starting to spread out a little bit. As uh, Gunther's really starting to pull ahead now. He's got a two-second gap over Falcao. And Mawson, Mawson getting onto the team, team radio. He's saying he's, he's fighting hard with this car. As you can see, the uh, the tire temperatures on Falcao's um, tires are starting to drop a little bit. Same with Mawson, so we might just bump them up fractionally, and that's already given us an instant result. Because look at how far Falcaro is starting to pull away a little bit from Tavetta. He's seven tenths up uh, in the laps at the moment, and we're keeping an eye on that wet weather. The wet weather's coming. I don't like wet weather because it really throws your strategy off. But hopefully, the wet weather. What we're hoping for is that we can get a, uh, a safety car or something like that. Because if Falcaro can keep second. And then after the, the restart on the safety car, he could easily pit Gunther and then boom, let's race off. We could go for a second win. But as you can see, Mawson's building a bit of a gap now over Jensen. We'll cut back down to Mawson. As there's a bit of a gaggle of cars. And it looks like it's Hyman that's got a bit of a truly train going there. Now Jensen's starting to fall behind. He's 1.7 seconds behind Mawson. And then Tictum has fallen right off. Um, but as you can see, Mawson's making an approach. He's got on the inside line and he's overtaken Ericsson. But Ericsson comes back on that little tight, twisty right lefter. But they're still there neck and neck. They come into that first corner. Mawson's got the inside line and he just holds off on sixth place. But I'm going to have to back him off because look at those tyre temperatures. They're starting to climb up. And I'm going to do the same for Falcaro as well. And Mawson's now defending from Joel Ericsson. So this will be interesting if he can hold on because as soon as that rain comes down... And look, you see now the rain's starting to get heavier and heavier. That water on track's going to get heavier and heavier. So we're going to have to start looking at changing to the intermediates. So we've got to keep an eye on that left side. We want to see, because as soon as someone comes in to, uh, to pit, then we're going to have to think about doing the same thing. As Mawson's complaining about vibrations, but there doesn't seem to be any problem with his car at the moment, so I'm not too concerned. And here you go. Here's the rain coming down now. So I'm going to pit Mawson. And I'm going to put him on the intermediate tyres. This is going to be a gamble. I'm going to do this. This is a snap decision I've made. Because what I want is I want him to come out and start blistering times. Now I'm going to leave Falcaro out there. That could prove costly. As Mawson gets a great pit stop and he's off now. He's going to be at the back of the grid. Let's not forget that. So let's start bumping him up. We want him to come out and really gung-ho these first couple of laps. Before the rain on the track gets too bad. And let's see if it pays off for us. As no one, as a couple of people, so Gunther's pitted. But now, Falcaro is going to have to pit. Pedro Pique has crashed out. So he's out of this race. There's so much going on, I don't know where to look. So we're going to put Falcaro onto the intermediates. And we'll make sure he's on the fast strategy. And we are going to absolutely power him. Because we are worried about any potential undercut. As we'll just start backing Mawson off a little bit. How did Julian Fakera? Julian Fakera, great pit stop. He comes out. There goes Gunther in first place. And he's got a bit of a lead over Falcaro now. That's a good 5.5 seconds. So we did the wrong thing there. We came out at the wrong time. But of course, our tyres are not as bad as Gunther's because we have 
pitted later than him. So he's got one extra lap on those intermediates. So that, that could be quite yeah, important. Uh, Mawson, meanwhile, is still in sixth after all those pit stops. But he's built a bit of a lead over Ericsson now. So we did the right thing, I think, by, by pitting Mawson. Because we've moved up to six. So it was, a, it was an undercut. And as you can see, Jensen is now fighting Mawson behind us. As we'll have a quick look at, peek at that, that battle going on. Because seeing those two tripping over each other really helps Mawson's race. But as you can see, PK crashed out, but there was no safety car on that one. So that's interesting and quite beneficial to us as well. As you can see there, they're starting to close that gap a little bit on Mawson, who's sitting in sixth position, so he's moved up one place. Falcaro is still holding second, but he's, he's really dropping off from Gunther now. And Hyman is closing in a little bit. Is he closing in? Yeah, he is catching up a fraction of you know, every lap. He's closing in, closing down. And we've got to keep an eye on these tyre temperatures because it's very difficult to keep the, the intermediates in that optimum range because it's not very warm, at the same time it's not very cold either, and it looks like this rain's in for, to stay for the rest of the race. But, you know, it doesn't look like it's going to ease up anytime soon. So we might be stuck on these intermediates for some time. So this is be perfect for us. Let's just hold position. Second of sick, not much going on, not much to talk about. So let me know in the comments um, as we as we're watching this race. Let me know in the comments um, how you would approach this now, because as you can see, we've got the wet sticking for quite a while. We're not going to be uh, going dropping onto the softs or the, the mediums, and we managed to get the intermediate um, bonus increase from the practice, which is going to be crucial for us. As you can see, actually, sorry, I'm going to interrupt my, my own self here because Mawson is right on the tail of Mardenborough, and he could possibly slip up to fifth. So what we're going to do is let's go right into overtake mode. We're going to attack, attack, attack. Got that inside line. He doesn't quite have it, but he's right on his tail along that back straight. That extra engine mode allowed him to slip by. And we are moving up into fifth place now. And he's got Tevedo in his sights. This is a great performance from Mawson. And Falcaro has started to pull away a, a little bit now from Hyman. Hyman's obviously backed off um, because he's really three seconds ahead of Hyman. So this is a great race, but he's eight seconds behind Gunther. This is Gunther's race to lose, really. But if we can get a second and a fifth, if, if the race ended now, I'd be thrilled. But yeah, unfortunately, it's not. We've got 39 laps to go, unfortunately. So Falcaro, he's, he's sort of quite comfortably out on his own there. We don't need to worry too much about him. As Mawson looks like he's closing down on Tevetta as well. So obviously that uh, doing those um, intermediates in practice has been crucial. And we are going to bump them up yet again along this home straight as he gets in front onto that first corner he had the inside line and he's now building up a bit of a lead and that's a huge huge result as he moves up to fourth we're going to have to drop him back because you know, his fuel he's, he's in deficit he's over a lap down on his fuel from where he should be whereas Falcaro he's slowly slowly closing down on, uh, on fixing that uh, fuel deficit so we've got to keep an eye on both of them because we don't want them to get to the end of the race and then suddenly oh we can't finish the race but Mawson up in fourth place. If he can hold off Tevetta for a little while, that'll be amazing. But as you can see, Tevetta's coming back. He wants he wants redemption after that. It was an easy overtaking maneuver by Mawson in the end. And so and because we backed off, Tevetta smells an opportunity. Is look at that, it jink inside and side. Mawson defending very well along that back straight. But he's now just clinging on as Tevetta looked at having the inside line and he just holds on. But Tevetta looks like he's got a bit of pace on that back straight. He's got that slipstream. And he still just cannot get past Mawson. Mawson is doing fantastically well. But we're keeping an eye on his uh, tyre wear because his tyre wear's a bit down. He's going to have to pit before uh, everyone else. Because remember, we pitted him first. He was the first one to come out on intermediates. And we forced all the other teams to think, hang on, we need to do the same thing. But Mawson's just got a bit of a gap over uh, Tevetta there. So that's that's good. Um, if we start having a quick look at the uh, the rest of the field, Gunther's still leading. Hyman's doing very well too. Um, Newey's right at the bottom. I'm actually surprised about that because I don't think he's too bad of a driver. Uh, Schumacher, he started 19th on the grid. He's moved up to 10th. I told you to watch him. Uh, Pr that Prima Power team are a very, very good team. So expect to see him move, moving up even further. Um, Ericsson sitting down in 8th. That's where he sort of finished last time. He sort of finished around there. As we have a quick look, um, watching the, the two cars, uh, Tevedo is having another look at overtaking Mawson, but just can't seem to do anything, can he? As we're going to start bumping their driving styles up a little bit. We want them to stay in that, that middle range there. Uh, Sasahara, he's right down in 18th. Um, anyone else that's worth it? Norris, he, he improved quite a lot. He was another one that, that didn't come out and set a blister in soft, 
uh, time. He was stuck on the intermediates in qualifying, and he's he's not really improving very much. He's only in 14th place, so that's that's a bit of a surprise because obviously anyone who follows Formula One in the real world knows that he, he's a he's a man for the future. This Norris guy. Um, but otherwise, everyone's just holding position because of this wet weather. It's made the race somewhat stagnant. It's a bit of a bit of a uh, procession at the moment. But we are going to have to start looking at pitting Mawson very, very soon. So let's have a quick look at the rain. As you can see, the rain's starting to ease off. Now, this puts us in a huge dilemma. If we can keep Mawson out, but when those, when the rain starts to ease up, we might be able to throw him onto some softs and he can complete the race on just two stops, which would be really, really good. And I think that moving him onto the intermediates was a, a good idea to begin with. But now, of course, his tyres are going to start fading a bit quicker than everyone else's. As you can see, he's down to 42. But then so is Falcaro because I'm not paying too much attention because I'm too busy talking. So if we can have them stay out until that, that water on track starts to ease off, I don't think we're going to be able to, to be honest. Uh, as you can see, everyone's going into to ease up mode now, and I'm not too surprised about that. Um, and we've got probably the worst tyres. Who's someone else that's got bad tyre wear? Sasha Hara's not great. Mawson's probably the worst. We've got Jensen and Mardenborough as well. So this is the this is the gamble now. If we pit too early onto the softs or even the mediums, we're going to be losing a lot of lap time, um, which then undoes all the hard work. Whereas if we try and hold off as much as we can, and I don't think we're going to be able to. I genuinely don't think we're going to, particularly Mawson. So do we pit him now, or do we hold on as much as we can? I think we're going to hold on as much as we can. And I'm going to bump Falcaro's engine mode up just to keep him uh, well clear in second place, because he's got a three-second lead that hasn't really changed much. But Mawson is going to have to pit. <clears throat> this is not what I want to see. I'm going to try and hold him off. I'm looking at his lap times. His pace isn't too bad. He's, he's keeping up on his pace. But they're down 31% tyre wear now. And Tavetta's really on his tail. We're going to have to start looking at pitting. Do we pit for the mediums? And we're going to get nowhere. We're just going to be going backwards. I want him to hold on, hold on, hold on. 25%. Uh, tire wear is usually what I'm aiming for. Anything under that, sort of like you know, your, your 20, your 15, your 10 percent, you can do that, but you're losing a lot of time. I think we may have to do that because I don't want to pit him just yet because there's still a lot of standing water on the track, and it's a gamble that I just don't think is going to pay off just yet. If you look at Falcaro, he's down to 30 percent as well. I think we're just going to have to. I think everyone's going to be doing the same thing. Everyone's going to be trying to um, stretch these intermediate tires out as much as they can. So. By us pitting Mawson first for the intermediates, everyone else is now stuck on the intermediates as well. And we've now, here we go, so the rain's stopped now. The rain has stopped. So, this is where we start looking at pitting. We are going to pit Mawson. There's still a lot of water on the track, but we are going to take a risk. There's how many laps to go? We've got 20 laps to go. The softs can make it. They can last between 24 and 26 laps. So we're going to put him onto the softs, have a quick look at the parts. Because remember in the last race, he was really, really low on his engine, but they're quite high at the moment. So that's good. We'll go for fast, and we're going to keep... We're going to watch... We're going to stay on Mawson, and we'll watch him to see if he pits, and see if it forces anyone's hand. As in he comes now. He's on fourth position. It was a great pit stop. Everything was good. Let's see what he can do on his first lap before we start pitting uh, Falcaro. Let's see what Mawson can do as he... Starting to fall a bit away there. That's not very good. As we'll quickly have a look at Falcaro. He's doing fine. Where's Mawson? His lap times are right down, but that water on track. Is someone. Oh no, that's 20. That's PK. PK's out of it. So his pace is up by three seconds. So I think it's time to pit. So I think we are going to bring on Falcaro, put him onto the softs, just keep an eye on his parts as well. Fast pit stop. Let's watch Falcaro and see what he can do. See how good the pit stop is. We don't want any errors. Another mistake-free pit stop by our crew. That's fantastic. As Falcaro will come out into fifth position now. And let's see what he can do from here. As we'll 
cut back to Mawson. Mawson's the big man that we've got to keep an eye on. As we can see, Schumacher and Sims have pitted as well. They're 18th and 19th. They've gambled too. We're sitting in 12th, but we are fighting hard. We've got Sato right in front of us. Everyone is coming into the pits. Now, who is in front of us? We've got 7th place Sato, who is sitting on those intermediates and just can't let us get through. And we're up to 6th, and we've still got Jensen to pit, remember. So I think we came out... <laughs> I think we missed out on that. I think we may have pitted just that one lap too early because who was it? So who is it that bumped us up? We're fifth. Oh, no. No, I take it back. I'm getting all confused again. And who is that that's gone flying past? Marnbra, just out of nowhere, has just... He's on an absolute power trip. He just went flying past us then. Talk about slipstream. And we've slipped back down to sixth. Now, Falcaro, he's holding that three-second lead over Hyman, but he's dropped back to nine seconds over Gunther. I think first place is a bit out of our uh, range now. So we are just going to have to be keeping an eye on Mawson. Once again, Falcaro is having a very quiet race, and it's all on poor old Mawson to do all the damage. As we're just keeping an eye on that tyre wear for the softs as the temperatures are going up that little bit, and we want to be careful on that one. We don't want them to... Uh, oh, I better keep an eye on Falcaro's fuel as well. I'm, getting, I'm too busy talking to you guys. And we are coming up to lap... What's that? 13 laps remaining. Mawson in 6th place. He's got Tavetta and Mardenborough in front. But they've got fractionally better tyres. As Mardenborough's really... He's powering at the moment. Now that they're both in coast mode. And I think we might do something similar, actually. Just to try and save that fuel... As we don't have to worry too much about Falcaro now, because as you can see, he is starting to pull away from Hyman. He's got a two and a half, three and a half, three and a half second lead um, over Hyman in third place. As we're going to watch Mawson now, who's, what's that, he's 7.3 seconds ahead of Ericsson in seventh place. So we can sort of back him off. I would have loved to have got fifth, but Martinborough came out of nowhere out of that first corner and just blew past everyone and... He overtook Tavetta as well, like he wasn't even there. So, sixth place looks pretty good for us now. And we, we're just going to wind down the clock. Let's see how we can do. As let's follow him from like that. The helicopter. Look at that. A very, very quick helicopter. So, sixth place. As we're keeping an eye on their fuel. Mawson's not doing too badly for fuel either. So, we'll be able to bump him back up to the medium, I think. You know, just as he's starting to close down maybe a little bit. It's 2.1 seconds behind Tavetta at the moment. As for Caro, he's comfortable, comfortably in second place. He's still got... Oh, it's starting to close down actually a little bit on him. So what we'll do is we're just going to bump them up a fraction because we want to keep that tyre wear at a constant and with seven laps to go, I think second and sixth is on the cards unless something drastic happens. Their park conditions are both very good but as you can see, well, Fakero's got a bit of trouble with his brakes. Mawson's got front wing trouble. He's got engine trouble as well. So that's something that we have to keep a real eye on uh, with Mawson because this is the second race in a row now where he's starting to suffer with a bit of reliability. There you go. He's, he's come onto the team radio now and saying, I'm, I'm, I'm suffering. Yeah, I'm struggling. So I think that might be his, uh, his race engineer. Something that I didn't look at uh, in the build-up to the Milan GP. So it's something that I will have a look at in the next episode. So remind me. Remind me in the comments to do that. Um, and we'll, we'll check, because it might be that his race uh, engineer is just not very good. Um, and I might have to start looking at, at replacing him. But if we can bump that reliability up um, before each race, which, I, which you can see I did, I did with the brakes. Um, and what, what was the other thing I did? Well, the gears, I think, I, I bumped up the reliability. So if I could do that with the... Uh, uh, the engine, then that'll, that that shouldn't be too bad, but it's something that I want to fix uh, by the time the next uh, episode, the next the next race. I'm I'm getting all confused here. I was just I literally had a mental blank then because I just saw third and I thought, don't tell me Falcaro has moved to third, but he hasn't. It was actually just showing third on there as uh, Falcaro goes through Sasahara, who's the last placed car who's been blue flagged. So we are two laps remaining now. Falcaro, he's closing down on Gunther. So I might just start pushing him that little bit now. And I'll do the same for Mawson. Even though I don't think Mawson's going to be able to do very much in the time frame. And there we go. We are on the final lap now. So Gunther is ahead of Falcaro. 6.3 seconds. Not much is going to happen there, I'm afraid. And we are just going to burn through our last little reserves of fuel. That's not going to make 
great deal of difference, is it? So Falcaro is going to have to settle for second, but there's Gunther up ahead, and he crosses, he finishes first. Falcaro comes in second. We're then going to cut back to Mawson, and there he crosses in sixth place. He closed down quite a lot on Tavetta towards the end there, but I'll take second and sixth any day of the week, particularly as our car was, what was it, the fifth or sixth best car? And we came second and sixth. Oh, I'm really thrilled with that. But Gunther picks up the win. That's a great result for him because I think he finished third in the last race. Um, so, you know, Prima Power Team, I'm telling you, keep an eye on them because they are the team to beat. So as you can see, there's... Um, oh, no. I take it all back. I am way ahead of myself here. If we go all the way to the start, we pit it on lap 14. Well ahead of everyone else, as you can see. And that could have really worked for us. PK crashed out on the same lap. And if that brought a safety car out, all of a sudden, Mawson's leading the race. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. And because he pitted early, that forced everyone around us. As you see, Gunther, Hyman, Mardenborough, and Ericsson all did the same thing. They all thought, hey, we've got to keep an eye on Joey Mawson now. He's, pitted, he's just pitted for intermediates. So they sort of thought, we better do the same thing. And then, of course, everyone else followed suit. Um, Falcaro and Tveta were the last two to pit. It, I don't think it cost them too much. If we go to position tracker then, let's have a look. We'll go back to 15. Uh, da, 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 15, there we go. So there's Falcaro there. So it didn't really cost him at all. And I don't think it cost Tveta either. No, look. Well, there you go. So when they pitted, they came out very, very similar. Um... I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that result. Um, if we have a quick look then at gap to leader, and we've got uh, Julian Falcaro, and we'll put Gunther on too. So we sort of, we held our own. Um, Falcaro was quite close, drifted off a little bit. Then, of course, the pit stops came in, and we lost out quite a lot in those pit stops. So that, by having Gunther pit before, look at the, the difference there in the gap. Gap to leader, 3.8 seconds, and afterwards it was 5.7. So we lost two seconds there, and that... That really, that really hurt us, but it didn't um, affect our race too much because we were still 6.4 seconds uh, down the road at the end of the race anyway, so it wasn't as if there was you know under two seconds at the end. So I can't really complain too much about that. Um, if we have a quick look at the standings, um, and then I'll, I'll show you the uh, the driver improvement page. I didn't do that in the last race. So Falcaro, he's still leading the championship. He's on 43 points, but he's closely followed by Maximilian Gunther, who of course won this race and came third, where Falcao, uh, Falcao came first and then second. So that's why he's ahead. Then we've got Mardenbra, He's on 24 points. And where did Mardenbra finish? I'll, I'll have to have a look. Keep an eye. Remember, remind me, where did Mardenbra finish? Then you've got Newey, who was right down. He finished. He was right at the back of the, uh, the field early on. And I didn't see where he finished. And then we've got Hyman. Uh, Mick Schumacher, he was another one that, that didn't do much. And he got the fastest lap, though, in this race. So he picks up two extra points, which is huge for Prima Power Team uh, because... They, they, they're going for the, the championship. We'll have a look at the team standings. Um, Mawson, he's in 10th. He's moved up two spots with about eight points. So that's that's quite promising for him. And as you can see here is the team championship. And we've moved up to second in the championship. I wouldn't have picked that, to be honest. We're only three points behind Prima Power Team, if you can believe that. Um, Van Amersfoort, who they were leading uh, the championship coming into this race weekend, they didn't didn't do very much. They picked up one point. Or, no, they no, they didn't pick up any points. What happened to them? They were on 26 points at the start of this race weekend, and they're now down in third with 26 points. So we'll have to see what they did. Um, otherwise, further down, you got Toto Racing, T-Sport, Motor Park, um, and then, yeah, four more. They're, they're, just, they're at the back. We don't need to worry about them just yet. Yeah, anyway. So we'll have a quick look at the scrutineering. We, we don't have any rules to break, so we're fine. Yeah, you can forget about us. So here is the completion of the race then. So Maximilian Gunther in 1 hour, 10 minutes, 45 seconds, 0.9. And we were 6.4 seconds behind him in second place with uh, Julian Falcaro. Rail Hyman, he uh, rebounded very well from the Guildford race where he crashed out. He finished third. Uh, Jan Mardenborough, there he is there. That's the guy that we were uh, talking about, wasn't it? And he came in fourth. Followed by Ryan Tavetta, Joey Mawson, Joel Erickson in seventh. Followed by... De Daravala, Mick Schumacher, who started 19th, he finished 9th, which is a fantastic result for him. And uh, Ralph Aaron picked up the final points position, um, finishing in 10th for High Tech GP. So Pedro PK came last. Sashahara, again, not a great race for him. Alex Palau. There's Harrison Newey there for Van Amersfoort. Um, and that's that's what I was talking about. Van Amersfoort there, Pedro PK. They lost one driver for a crash, and Harrison, Harrison Newey. 
had a very, very poor race. Even Lando Norris, who started 15th, finished 15th, I'm actually quite surprised about that too. And it doesn't look like there's any penalties to give out in this race. Here's the confirmation of the Milan GP result. we got Maximilian Gunther on first, Julian Falcaro woo, on second, and Raul Hyman in third. So what we'll quickly do is we will have a quick look at the driver improvement, and then that'll be the end of episode four. And you can thank, thank God for that, because this episode's going on forever. And you'll have to tune in. You have to wait another couple of days for the next episode. I don't even know where we're, where we're uh, racing next. But there we go then. So let's have a quick look at our um, team stats changed. We've all improved quite a lot there. And Fuoco's improved too. But as you can see, there's not much between Fuoco and Falcaro. So that's... His fitness is very, very low. I mean, I think, you know, if we get to the end of the season and nothing's really happened, you know, we're out of a championship, you know, we're, ten, we're not going to finish 10th, we're all good. I would actually quite like to see Fu, uh, Fuoco in the race. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. And this is this is a really professional performance because I've, I've got a burping at the moment, so that's a really professional performance. So, yeah, cool. We've done another great result. Um, I'm, I'm thrilled with that, second and sixth. Let me know in the comments if you think I could have done anything better. Did I pit Joey Mawson too early? Did, in, or both times. Did I pit him too early for the intermediates? And did I pit him too early when we went back onto the softs? I think we may have done there. That, that was another, another mistake by me. But, hey... Marco Koronen's happy. He's 100% happy, so whatever. If I make those sort of mistakes and he's still happy, then I must be doing something all right. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you pop a big thumbs up on there for me if you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to tune in in a couple of days' time for the next uh, race. I don't even know. Where are we? Where are we racing? Let me know in the comments. If you get it right, I'll give you a big thumbs up. I'll see you later.